Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Bilderberg Group funding pro-EU organisations, Van Rompuy's egg to cost £327 million, EU set to pounce on hedge funds, European Union needs more powers to fight racism, says German minister, plus the EU to ban olive oil jugs from restaurants. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First, our homepage. The Bilderberg Group has been accused of funding and supporting pro-Euro and pro-world government organisations. Gerard Batten, UKIP, raised some serious questions recently about who is influencing and funding the Centre for British Influence in Europe after comments were made by politicians Kenneth Clark, MP, and Lord Peter Mandelson after the launch of the Centre for British Influence in Europe. The real difficulty with these stories is the lack of empirical evidence. Bilderberg, banking cartels, etc. operate in secret, which always provides them with plausible deniability. Van Rompuy's egg is to cost £327 million. This is a third more than was estimated when the plans for the egg-shaped building were approved in 2004. In the past, there has been criticism of the cost of the building that is currently under construction. The new figures on the cost of the project come from the Secretary of State responsible for public buildings. Now, only last week, I reported on the EU pleading poverty with a budget shortfall of some €11 billion. Euros. You know why the United States is so successful? They're led by Obama, with music from greats like Johnny Cash and Stevie Wonder, and comedy, of course, from legends like Bob Hope. Here in the EU, we have got Van Rompuy. No cash, no hope, and no bloody wonder. Leak reveals planned regulation in Europe of the world's 51 trillion euro shadow bank sector. Lending to the real economy could take another blow as the European Commission plans to tighten the rules around finance firms like hedge funds and money market funds, analysts warned. Leaked documents show Brussels plans to introduce liquidity buffers and leverage caps as part of a new crackdown on so-called shadow banks. And the EU also plans to put pressure on banks to push them into doing less business with less heavily regulated parts of the market. Now, exactly as I reported yesterday, the EU will leverage the control of the capital finance from London and the only way that to stop this happening is to leave. Germany's Foreign Minister Guido Vestervel has told Jewish leaders that the EU needs better legal means to fight racism in member states. Speaking amid growing racism against Jews and Roma in Hungary, he told the World Jewish Congress that the EU's legal options to curb violations of democratic norms were either as weak as toothpicks or as strong as bazookas. Here we go again. The numpty kleptocrats are at it again. More power, more control, more tyranny, more totalitarianism. The whole policy structure in the EU is wrong. And I just don't get why these stupid people can't see that the more you oppress the people, the more you take from them and give to the rich, the more angry and disaffected they become. These bureaucratic baboons haven't got a clue. They're dancing to the tune of Bilderbergers and bankers and behaving like a bunch of bloody scoundrels. The small glass jugs filled with green or gold-coloured extra virgin olive oil are familiar and traditional for restaurant goers across Europe, but they will be banned from the 1st of January 2014 after a decision taken in an obscure Brussels committee. From next year, olive oil presented at a restaurant table must be in a pre-packaged factory bottle with a tamper-proof dispensing nozzle and labelling in line with the EU industrial standards. You'd be quite within your rights to think that I was taking the proverbial, but I'm not. At Brightology underscore IT on Twitter tipped us off to this one yesterday, and I'm flabbergasted. Words escape me, which is a good thing, as I'm likely to revert to my native tongue, which is mainly four letters and blue. (laughs) 
Today in our video library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. We thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the other videos that have been produced, and so through the month of May, I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, you could really help us a great deal with our documentary and contest entry by subscribing to our channel, rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, but I'd prefer like please, and most importantly sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So without further ado, today's video which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere YouTube playlist is Joy Camp. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google Plus and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google Plus, links to the community page are below. <laughs>